Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Delicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to be cleaning my 1996 coach bags that were thrifted and were pretty dang dirty. I'll be going through what I personally do to not only clean my bags, but also condition and protect them. <laughs> But before we hop into today's cleaning coach vintage bags and video, if you guys love coach, handbags, hauls, luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. So today we will be cleaning the 1996 Coach Vintage Small Lunch Tote as well as the 1996 Coach Vintage City Shoulder Bag. Now quickly we are going to be looking at the before footage and the before like the whole cleaning. The bag looks pretty dusty. Not even just dusty, it just looks like it's seen better days. The scratches are very visible and it looks like there's some wear. And it again, it looks a little bit dirty. It could use some TLC. I still love the bag though, and in all honesty, if you weren't even to clean or condition or anything like that, it would still be in perfectly good use. I love the City Shoulder Bag. Very pretty and stunningly made. And then here we got the Small Lunch Tote. The before footage of cleaning the Small Lunch Tote. Very stunning as well. It wouldn't need much cleaning on the outside. In all honesty, the outside looks a lot better than the inside. The inside is the problem for this beauty. As you can see, it looks like someone shit in the bag. And it is um, going to need some cleaning. So let's just start cleaning these beautiful bags. They need some TLC. So first up, we're going to be using some latex or, you know, just some disposable gloves. Because you don't want to cause any damage to your hands while using... Uh, Oils, chemicals, too much water, even just using like the cloths, like the microfiber cloths, it can dry out your hands. So just grab some cold water. We got my cold water bowl there. Soak the cloth and then we're just going to scrub off or lightly, lightly scrub off the dirt. Just quickly pop it open, get the inside of the flap. Again, as you can see, it doesn't look like I need to do too much to it. It's a very beautiful nonetheless, cleaned or not. Just get some ASMR as well. You know, when you're cleaning out bags, it's good to just shake out all of the dirt and such. There was a lot of dirt in that bag. And there's more to come as well, so just keep cleaning. The inside is very nice, and uh, while using, like, the damp cloth, do try to, like, rinse and wring out the cloth every now and then. You don't want to, like, carry dirt with it too much. And also try to be as gentle as you can with the leather. You don't want to like damage anything, especially banging up the hardware, which I kept getting frustrated with. I kept smacking it against the desk, but eh, 
it's vintage and the hardware of like 30 years ago is a lot more sturdy than yesteryear. Looks great. Even with just simply cleaning. Just removing any type of just basic dirt. Not doing anything crazy to the bag just yet. And as you can see, it's looking cute. So just put it to the side to let it dry off. And, and we're going to start off with the next bag. This bag is, we got some um, warm water with Dawn dish soap. About a teaspoon. Just, you know, mix it up. Throw in an extra clean microfiber cloth. And then we're going to go use the green one again and just go over the bag leather itself with a damp water cloth. And of course, when you're trying to scrub down the bags, never put too much pressure. You want to be gentle. You don't want to be rough because you don't want to damage any leather. But I'm going to quickly remove the tag because that can get a little in the way. And you don't want to, like, rust any type of, like, hardware or anything. It's very old. Almost 30 years. That is crazy. But we're going to get into the disgusting lining. The gross lining. And that's kind of why I brought out the dish soap uh, water mitt. So while the dish soap sits there, uh, we're going to quickly just shake out whatever debris might be left in the bag. I don't think there was really much debris necessarily. It's just whatever the hell that crap is. It does come out really easily. But whatever it was, it just that was the main issue, I guess. As you can tell, already basically done. Basically done. Not really, but, you know... Toss that to the side real quick, and then we're going to grab the soapy, uh, the soapy one. The soapy microfiber cloth. I don't use soap too often, only when it's like a really gross bag. Some people are just pigs. <laughs> so just scrub out any type of grossness and use the soap and detergent. Get in all the nooks and crannies. Try to expand out the canvas as much as possible. Or the lining, I should say. It's not canvas. Though it is a nice lining. Not the most luxurious, but it, it felt like a very durable lining. And I liked that. I liked that it was super durable. It felt like, even though I was, like, scrubbing it and, like, trying to get out all the nastiness, it wasn't causing any damage. Like, minimal, like no, no damage at all. Like, I was very surprised. Because sometimes when you're, like, trying to scrub things out of, like, lining and such because of the fabric used, it can technically, like, cause a little bit of damage. But, like, there was no damage done. So I was happy about that. And then once you're done just completely washing out all of the lining, mind you, this is all sped up. There was probably an hour and a half of pure raw footage of just cleaning. We use a uh, fresh water... <laughs> I did use fresh water and I just quickly clean out all of the extra soap. Any excess soap within the lining. And then we move on to actually cleaning. And the thing I use for cleaning is called Lincoln EZ Cleaner. I will link in the description box if possible, but it cleans suede, leather, Buck, new buck, vinyl, linen, canvas, nylon, and satin. Shake well before using. Apply easy cleaner with clean cloth or sponge. Clean soiled areas with foam from shaken bottle. Do not saturate. Then wipe dry with clean cloth. When using easy cleaner on suede and suede like material, clean entire item from an even for an even finish. Then brush up the nap when dry. So I did pay $13 for this and I do really enjoy it for cleaner. I feel like it cleans product, product excellently. And you don't even need to wipe it down afterwards with like water or anything like that. 
So just quickly, as you can see, just quickly, quickly rub through. And as you can see, I'm trying to get all of the suede as it says. And because it's so napped, you don't even need to actually like use a napping brush for this, thankfully. But as you can see, it just just simply using this cleaner brings a whole new life to the suede on the inside of the bag and I'm living for it. It's just adding a whole new life and effect to the bag already. Just quickly rub out anything that might be on the sides uh, on the back, on the strap. I'm using a cloth under underneath to like stop from most of the uh, banging of the hardware. I also did use a an entirely a separate microfiber cloth for the Lincoln Easy Cleaner. And again, being very gentle as you don't want to damage anything. It will take some time, but it is totally worth it after cleaning your bags, trust. Doesn't take much time, but it does take some time. Just resaturate the hand cloth I have here. <clears throat> because when, when you're cleaning a dirty bag, it does tend to dry out quick, so we're gonna just Add more easy cleaner and just start going on the inside. Go along the story patch. Make sure every inch of the bag is just nice and clean. And after all that's done, which it looks beautiful already, just move it on and go to the city tote. Or sorry, the lunch tote. The lunch tote. It's the city shoulder bag lunch tote. But as you can see, the can the inside lining is completely spotless. It looks brand new almost on the inside. And that's sickening. But now we gotta clean the outside completely. So just stuff the lining back in the bag. It's a little damp in the filming here but like after I'm done cleaning it I'm just going to take the lining back out just so it dries properly you don't want any mold mildew nothing like that building up in the bag because chances are you're you probably won't get rid of it the mold I'm saying <laughs> just quickly scrub down with the Lincoln easy cleaner and because this bag isn't as intricately built or anything it's a nice easy tote bag it's going to be a super a simple, quick wipe down. Just try to get in between all the nooks and crannies as well. Don't want to leave anything unclean. Lift up the straps, go underneath as well. Go along the edges, even on the inside edges. Uh, the easy cleaner is good. And you don't have to worry about it if you get it on your like lining or anything. I'm pretty sure you can use it for your lining as well. Bam. Both bags clean. Cleaned. Now we condition. Now we condition. So we grab another, or sorry, yeah, another separate. I use a, this one specifically for conditioning, but grab a separate clean uh, microfiber cloth. And the leather conditioner I like to use is called Wayman, trusted number one brand. It's a three-in-one cleans, conditions, and protects. Uh, cars, furniture, shoe, handbags, literally anything leather. You shake it nice and well, and then you pop open the on tab, and you just spray right into the cloth. They also have leather wipes. Normally, I would have leather wipes, but this is the only thing I could find. Just quickly saturate it into the cloth. 
and then we start to condition. Normally, we would stop after this step, but we do have another step, and this is more of a comparison step. But we'll get into that after we're done conditioning. I love smelling full grain leather bags. They just smell so beautiful. Especially the 90s bags from Coach. Oh my goodness. Could literally stick my nose in one of those bags for days. Quickly also condition the strap. Never condi never forget conditioning your straps, ever. They need some love too. <laughs> if anything, they're probably the first things to wear out the fastest. Get in between all of the buckles and everything. Grab the cleaner or the conditioner, sorry, and respray. Because the conditioner will run out. Uh, I won't say quick, but if you want to keep... Uh, like an even finish across the bag, you're going to have to replenish. So that's what I did for the inside. And no, you don't want to use this on suede. The Wayman spray is not, or like the leather conditioner from Wayman is not supposed to be used on suede. So as you'll see, I will not be using it on like the lining of the bag, just the full grain leather parts. All suede will be avoided. Don't want to ruin suede. Even if it is attached to full grain, you don't want to ruin it. So I'm just trying to be careful. Also trying to condition the story patch. Again, you want everything equally conditioned. You just have to avoid getting the conditioner on the suede. Unless it says it can condition suede. But even then, I'm thinking, well, do you condition suede? I need to clean it I'm not a suede expert. <laughs> I just know certain cleaners and certain certain chemicals, certain conditioners, all that are not supposed to be used on suede. But now we move on to the lunch tote. After the city shoulder bag is nice and conditioned, we're going to quickly replenish the microfiber and just start going to town on the lunch tote. Again, will be a lot easier and a lot faster because of the surface area and just the generalized structure of the bag. And there's just not as much leather to condition. <laughs> Both bags look beautifully conditioned and they look like they're both ready to be like used tomorrow, today, tonight, in five minutes. Let's go to the store and buy some chips. <laughs> and even condition the story patch on the inside. But when you do that, just make sure you're not um, soaking the oils and conditioner into the fabric. And we're done. We're not done done because we're going to actually add some beeswax protector conditioner. Um, it's going to help with scratches as well. It's called Leather Better. I have used this on the channel before. It's made with beeswax. Perfect for boots, jackets, furniture, vehicle seats, saddles, and all leather or vinyl. May darken lighter colors and is not to be used on nubuck or suede. So always never use this. Never use this on suede. <laughs> but as you can tell, as you'll just take a separate clean cloth, dab it in, and... Just make sure there's some product on the cloth itself and just start wiping gently on the bag. The, again, this will help for like scratches and needing to basically buff out the leather. Um, we're going to do like a comparison basically afterwards of uh, does it look better with the beeswax or do we just stop after the wing and spray? 
You do want to be careful with the beeswax, though, because um, if you don't buff it out properly, it will leave a residue over top of the leather, and that could possibly ruin it. So you don't want too much of a thick leather, or too much of a thick layer over the leather, but you want just enough where it's, like, conditioning it, getting it in all the grooves, and just as you can tell on the video. Even opening it up, we're also going to be protecting the inside, along with the bag strap and everything else. But again, this also helps with scratches. So all the scratches you see here, they'll look a bit better. They'll blend a bit better and it'll make the bag look a lot more refreshed. Or at least that's the idea. Also, I do have a lot of footage of cleaning the bags. Would you guys like a full ASMR video? A whole half hour, hour long, like, just pure ASMR. No talking, just cleaning ASMR. Would you like that? Let me know in the comment section below if you made it this far. <laughs> Get some more of the beeswax on the bag, or on the cloth, sorry. And then just use that for the strap. You're going to have to reapply the beeswax a few times because you're going to want an even, even layer, especially with the beeswax. But after, after applying the beeswax, you're going to want to remove any excess beeswax. So I'm using the back of a, like the past cloth I used to condition. I'm using a piece where there's nothing on it. So I'm just going to take a dry, clean cloth, wipe off any excess, just so it doesn't create a residue. It doesn't take anything off of the bag or anything. It still looks great. You're basically polishing it out. Buffing the bag out, polishing it, same thing. Just make sure you get everything. You don't want to leave anything behind. Especially with, like, the threads and stuff. Make sure you get on the inside and everything. Hook up the bag back to the strap. And we are done. And caution to the wind. Be careful with what you'll use for microfiber cloths. I let mine soak and all of the red dye came out. Fucking idiot. Now also looking at the after footage, you can clearly tell how beautiful the bags now look. They no longer look dirty, dusty, um, the scratches, especially with the beeswax. The beeswax uh, coating really does add an extra oomph to the bag. So with these side-by-side -side comparisons and with the before footage that you guys seen, I'm probably going to go back later on and actually do a fresh coat of beeswax over top of the small lunch tote because I do think it could really benefit from that. But, like, just looking at the city tote, the lunch tote, they both look like they're ready to go out to town. And that is what I like. Both of these bags have a brand new life to them. I'm so glad I found both of them. They are so stunning, you guys. They both smell immaculate. Mm. 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 They're both clean and mine. And ah! I love these. I love these and I hope you guys learned some good tips and tricks and I'm gonna link everything I used in the description box below and I really hope you guys found this helpful. I know a lot of people were asking me about um, cleaning thrifted bags and all that so I hope this helps you. Anyways, I'm gonna show y'all a real sickening 
outfit of the day with my lunch tote bag. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy today's special Coach Vintage Cleaning video. Ma'am, these bags are sickening. These bags are sickening. They were sickening before I cleaned them, but now that I've cleaned them, conditioned them, waxed them, they are sickening. I'm just ecstatic to have two, two two made in america bags uh i'm just so happy you guys mm, 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 mm. but anyways if you guys did enjoy today's coach thrift cleaning video please hit the subscribe button if you are new hit that like button share with your friends and family comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's video or outfit as well you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation and you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my instagram facebook and discord notification squad i love you all to the absolute moon and back and i'll see you all in my next video uh, bye I think it was good. I don't, I don't. No, no, show's over. <laughs> show's over. <laughs>